Color grading is 100% the easiest way to make your videos stand out and entirely for free too. So today I'll show you how to take your videos from this to that, as well as a couple of other examples. What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great week. So we've made it to the final episode of how to make a banger nightclub recap and or after movie entirely from scratch. So let's get into it. Today we're gonna be looking at these three clips. This one right here of Gucci Mane, the second one of a concert recap from Tusi, and then a band at that same venue. So we're dealing with three different lighting setups and three entirely different artists on three different days. Right off the bat, I wanna start off with this insane hack that I wish I knew about sooner, but it's the Joel Faulaudo LUT. And this LUT right here is basically just a conversion LUT. You don't gotta buy it at all. But if you record an S-Log3, it takes your footage from this to this right off the bat. And it's such a good base to start off with. While we're talking about this LUT, notice the strength I have it at. This is at 80% and this is super important because the LUT is taking into consideration that you're overexposed by 1.7 stops. This is super hard to do in these dark environments. So we contrast that by just taking it down a little bit. This is gonna lighten up on the contrast and the brightness, which is exactly what we need in these environments. However, if you have perfect exposure and you're at 1.7 stops, go for it, put it at 100% this conversion LUT is insanely good. You may have noticed as well that I do all my grading on adjustment layers and not the clip itself because this, in my opinion, just makes it way more cumbersome. But you can see I have the base with the conversion LUT right there. And then I have my grade right here as well. This is because if you need to expand your grade over multiple clips, you can just do that right there. And or if you need to delete the grade in general and you want to start over, click delete and now it's gone entirely. This is huge for helping me color grade super fast. All right, so to recap, we got the regular clip right here, S-Log3 12,800 ISO, dual native. We unclick that right here. Now we got the base with the conversion LUT that I highly recommend. And then we get to the second layer. Now we can get funky with the color grade. And it honestly doesn't need too much, but I'll run through what I normally do. So we're gonna mute that second layer with the color grade I already did. Now we can add a new adjustment layer, go into effects, drag on Lumetri color, make sure in the effect controls that we got Lumetri on. Cool. First things first, this base already did a great job and I'm super happy with how this clip looks already. Messing around with the color temperature, I'm really liking the warmer look that this is already bringing out. This is what the cold looks like. Not a huge fan. Let's leave that right there. And this looks really pink in my opinion. So let's combat that with some green. Nothing too drastic, but this already looks heaps better in my opinion. Because we recorded an S log, let's add a little more contrast to the image. We'll do a lot of that with the S curve as well. But one of my favorite parts is messing around with the shadows and the highlights. And a quick hack that I do to understand more about the colors in my image is go to color.adobe.com and you end up right here. Now what I'll do is I'll click on triad and find out what colors complement each other well from my initial image. If we look at the colors in the images, we're somewhere around here and these are the colors that would complement this image well. If you're trying to add text into your shot, this is a great way to find out what color you should do instead of just the standard white text. But we can take what we learned and we're seeing blue and yellowish. We can see what that looks like in the shadows. It doesn't always have to work out well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But you can see what parts of the image we're affecting pretty much all of this everything in the shadows that's kind of darker we'll bring this to the tealish blue kind of green side since that's what it said right here let's try to replicate that this definitely looks pretty interesting and then for the highlights let's try to pull those into the yellows i'm liking that this is the before this is after just a little green, bluish here, and the highlights right here by all of the lights, we're seeing a little bit more yellow. This is the before, this is after. I'm liking that. It might be a little strong. We're gonna tune these down just a bit. You don't wanna overdo it because the image already looks great without any of this. This is without the grade at all. This is with it. Let's check it out all together. I think that looks nice. That looks real good. And then off camera, I really wanted to mess around with the colors in the crowd. So I made a little mask. It looked really pink in my opinion, and I wanted to add some greens. It's really just focusing on the crowd. This is what it looks like before. This is after I did the mask. 
just makes it feel more cohesive in my opinion. But for shot number two, I wanna move on to the Sony a7 III. I shoot on the Sony a7 S3, which is a lot newer of a camera, but I want to do a grade also without S-Log so you can see the difference. This is with the grade, this is without the grade. With the grade, without the grade, I think the greens look nice with the red and we're just toning down those reds a little bit as well. I thought this image was crazy red, so I basically just toned all of that down with the blues here. This is what we were originally looking at. Added some greens, took the highlights down. This is what it looked like originally. Move that down just on his face and above there as well. Add some contrast, that's how we do. Took the vibrance down, that really has to do with the reds in the image, make them just a little bit lighter. Looked really good at negative six. Did the same thing with the shadow tints and the highlight tints. This image is basically red. And we notice we need some greens and we need some blues. You can see how I replicated that right here. Greens, yellows, if we brought this into the blues, let's see what that would do. Honestly looks good. I like what I had prior. You obviously don't have to follow that rule, but most of the time it works out pretty good and gives you a rough idea of what to do. We have the S curve right here. You can look at all this, basically just playing around with the reds because without this, I mean the whole image is just red. This clip right here is actually a perfect time for me to explain why I think you can't push and pull nightlife footage that well. I mean, this entire shot with the before and after is just entirely red there's no room to move around the colors the entire image is just being blown out by those red stage lights and setting the mood for the shot that i got and yeah you can mess around with the color of the red right here in the hue versus hue if we check that out right here but there's not much room to mess around with it. However, I did think it was super important to show this shot because it was shot on the a7 III, showing that you can still get really good footage on it and that you don't need the 10-bit from the Sony a7S III to pull insane colors out of it. However, you can notice because the a7 III doesn't have that dual native ISO, there's a lot of grain in this shot. This is from my buddy's camera. This is my camera. That's, that's him right there. You can see how different the shots are. The grain right there on the a7 III and then the a7S III at 12,800 ISO. The difference is insane. I've said it a million times before, but this is the nightlife videography camera. Compare these two clips, it's insane. This one too, this is off of my camera at that same ISO. It's so bright. For the final shot, this is the before. This is with that conversion LUT, and then right here, we add the final gray. There's not too big of a difference, but same thing, if we add the blues, I don't really like what it's doing to his hand here, so we'll move that to the warm side. Check out the pinks, it's already pretty pink. We're kind of just looking at that part of the image right there. That looks fine. Add some contrast, I think the exposure looks perfect. I mean, you can take it up just a little more. In the highlights, I do add some greens just to mess around with those lights. Curves, again, we got that S curve. This is what it's really doing to the image, messing around with the shadows. And then the highlights right here. Hue and saturation, just messing around with the purples making them a little more subdued in the spotlights. When it comes to nightlife videography, I really don't do too much to my color grading just because a conversion LUT already gives you a really great image when you do your best with the exposure as you can. But I was asked about my color grading process for this. So this is the original, this is the conversion LUT added, and then here's my final grade. Just really making the image feel more cohesive in my opinion and adding some contrast to it and so forth. As you may have noticed at this point, I don't really mess around with scopes and or parades. And that's because I have little to no knowledge on that kind of stuff at all. And I realize that's not great and I really wanna get into it after graduating, but I just got a lot on my plate right now. But I think being transparent about that kind of stuff is cool, because just as you guys are learning, I'm learning too, and I promise that once I got that stuff down, I'll make a video about it as well. So now we've seen how I graded these three test clips. Now let's load up a recent project that I finished and check out how I color grade a final finished professional product. Let's check out some stills from this project, see the before and after, and hopefully this shows you that you don't need all those fancy LUTs from your favorite creators and pay way too much money for them. All right, let's look at mm, this shot right here. This is after my grade, this is before my grade, little to no difference at all, and this is that conversion LUT. 
this is the real difference maker. Take it from S log, add my grade back on, and I do hardly any work. And from this clip right here, this shows how nice an adjustment layer can be. I put this same grade over multiple clips. This is the after, this is before the grade. However, if you do want a LUT to start off your color grading journey, and you're old school if you remember this one, check out the M31 LUT from color.io. I've also included this in the description. It's a free preset and or LUT that makes your footage kind of teal and orange. This is the before, this is after we added in, I don't really like what it did to this image and also this is really strong. But yeah, it can look really good when used right and with the right footage. And since everybody and their mother is talking about LUTs, if you wanna try it out for yourself, I'll leave it linked in the description below, as well as another LUT pack that's entirely free on that same website with 70 different LUTs to definitely get you started color grading your footage. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I showed you that you don't need your favorite creator's LUTs to go and make your footage look good. However, if you're recording an S-Log 3 or S-Log 2, those conversion LUTs look really good. I've linked them down in the description as well. And while I was recording this video, I was low key thinking about maybe we should add one more episode to this series to really finish it off and talk about my favorite effects in Premiere Pro. So let me know if you guys would like a separate episode on that because I only use five or six, but those five or six I use in every single one of my edits and they go a long way. Anyway, I hope this video showed that I still got a lot to learn about color grading myself. I'm learning with you guys, but if you want to check out how bad my color grading was four or five years ago, check out this video here. It's it's honestly comical. It's, it's pretty bad. And yeah, that's me reacting to my first ever nightclub video. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Thursday, bright and early. Peace.